What's going on guys? Bebout back here with Critical Game Unit. And what I'm going to be doing today is talking about this game. This life is futile. <sighs> Where do I start? Alright, well first, I'm going to name myself just Bebout. Last name will be Viking. This was seriously, seriously. You can run, but you cannot hide. My favorite game for a long time. A very long time. I see you. You are a dead man. Wow, what the heck is you that? Are marked. Wow. You can run, but you cannot hide. Um until they started focusing on their MMO. Now this is something that we all knew was coming. When we bought into the game. We knew this was happening. We knew that this was like pretty much you know, a stepping stone for their MMO. Okay. Well, then this game <clears throat> became wildly popular. It really did. I put a lot of time into this game. Uh, you know, that's done. I'm not going to really pay much. I put a lot of time into this game. Anybody that knows me from Twitch knows that I put hours and hours and hours into this game. I did roleplay on this game. <clears throat> I sold this game for this company to a lot of people. This this game's not cheap. It's still not cheap. It's still like $35. That's a lot to ask for a game like this. It's $35. Um, back then, it was still supported. Now, I know people are going to be like, well, there was a big old patch that just came out. It's to appease the people that spent $35 on this game while they're off twiddling their thumbs doing this MMO thing. Okay. That's all well and fine. They stated from the beginning of this MMO that's out, coming out, whatever you want to call it, that the people that paid money for this game, people that own this game, were going to get a character to get into the game. One slot for free. This is what they said. I mean, look at this. Fantastic looking game. I've always thought this is just a beautiful game. It's Viking. I love Viking stuff. How do you pull up your freaking character window anymore? I don't even know. It's been so long since I've played this. Um, I'll grab an axe. That'll do me. But, I mean, this is just the coolest setting, the coolest idea. I supported these dudes, like, so much. It's ridiculous how much I supported these guys. Well, now, instead of giving this game out for free, even to the people that have owned the game, I'm, I'm talking about the MMO, they're charging, I think the cheapest one is $30. $30. That's just a lie. That's a lie from the company. I mean, look at that. Somebody built that. So they just, they flat out lied. <clears throat> so I was writing it off. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. These guys are nothing but liars. All they do is lie. They take your money. They lie. Uh, they made some forest village. They say that a third party worked on that. But it had all the assets from Life is Futile. It's just, these guys are just doing cash grabs. I'm sorry. Anyway. I come to work today. And I get this email. Apparently, at some point, I entered some contest to win access to the MMO. So I got that. And I'm not going to lie, I got a little giddy. I got a little excited. I didn't, I didn't play around with it much at work. Like, I talked to the guys. They're like, hey, you won. 
like this straight from the devs tweeting me you won congratulations check your email and I was like wow thank you so much that's really cool I hope that I get that same excitement when I open this game for the first time that I did when I opened Life is Futile. So, okay, okay, this music just seems loud to me. This music used to get me excited. I mean, this, this nothing about this game was wrong to me. Anyway, I come home, I download it. It's not a big download, but I download it. And I'm excited. I love MMOs, I love survival games, and at one point, I loved this game. Why go to get into it, right? <clears throat> All the servers are shut down. The servers are shut down. And there's going to be people who are like, well, you, they're doing beta tests, they're doing waves, they're doing this, they're doing that. Then why are you charging $30 minimum for a game that nobody can play? Nobody can play this game right now. You can play this game if you want to cough up the $35 to play a game where the freaking developers don't even run servers anymore. These are all player servers. So not only do you have to buy a game, you have to buy a server. Or play on somebody else's. That somebody else bought and then bought the server. In what world is that okay? And it, I... I welcome any comments below from people who who defend this game. I will have a nice, sophisticated, grown-up conversation with you about it. I am sincerely bitter at this game. Sincerely. Like, if you go to my other YouTube channel and you go back and look at videos, I have countless hours of this game and I had some real good fun they had a real good thing going it's grindy that's fine like I'm really disappointed and if the devs like see this they probably won't they don't care but if they see this and they're like well we gave you the key for free take it back I don't care kick me out of the servers I'm not gonna be able to play the freaking thing anyway it doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the fact that you guys are lying to your customers. You're lying about it. You're trying to just get more money than you honestly deserve. You made a killing on this game. When this game went on sale on Steam, it went down to like $25. That's, that's a joke. And you see, all I'm doing, you know, I could be going over here. Like, look, you, you see prime, prime land. Like, somebody, somebody's building down here. Let's go check this out. Let's see if what could have been with this freaking game. It's just shady. It's bullcrap that this, this devs have done this. I don't do videos like this. I know that we're a critical gaming unit and we're critical like especially when I'm doing my rapid fire reviews I'm critical <clears throat> but I give every game a chance and not once of these games ripped me off now I know that's new I know some people are gonna say well you paid your money for this can't you say that you got your money out of it? You know, to be fair, yeah. I got about $35 worth of enjoyment out of this game, if not more. I bought this game twice, by the way. I bought it once when it was in really, really early development, and it was unplayable. Uh, and they did some revamps. And they made it better. But... They walked. And they're doing the same thing with the MMO. So for all of you who are thinking of buying the MMO, be warned. This company turns their back on their customers. Fast. Very fast. 
They'll sucker you in. They'll promise you the world. I was talking to a friend earlier who's still a believer in this one, the, the life is futile your own. Still a firm believer. And he's like, <clears throat> well, this game has changed. They just dropped a huge patch the other day. They put in mechanics for a horse-drawn carriage. Okay, that would be really cool if they didn't promise that two years ago. I could be off on my date a little bit. I'll, about two years ago, they promised that they were going to put horse-drawn carriages in this. And just now, they put in a mechanic for that. That's... That's insulting. And they're just going to keep doing it. They're going to get... They're going to try something out on the MMO. Have it open for 25 minutes. And then they're going to put it over here. Just to shut the people up that played the game. It's garbage. I'm not happy with it. I mean, look at that. Look how cool you can make your dude. I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with this game. I'm really not happy with the developers. I wasted a lot of my time getting psyched up for something that was just taken from me. <clears throat> now, I know that I could play this. I could play this all day. But I'm going to tell you right now, when I get done to recording this video, I'm uninstalling this game and I'm never looking at it again. There are plenty of other games out there that do this and better and give you your money's worth. Go try games like Worm Unlimited, Zion Prelude. Those are made by companies that are smaller than this company. That have These games have been out for a long time and they get regular updates. They don't promise you the world and take it away from you. So please, if you're thinking of buying this game, think again. There's so much more on Steam that you could spend your money on. So much more. I mean, it's like this right here is so cool looking. And you're coming up to a town. Look at that. Don't waste your time with this. Don't waste your money. Definitely don't buy into that MMO. They don't even have live servers. It's garbage. It's a lie. I have to stop playing. I'm I'm too I'm too worked up about this. <clears throat> so this is gonna be a short video. I was seriously gonna do like an hour and a half video on the MMO today. But instead, how long does this go? This went like 15 minutes just just disgusted with the way that this company handles business so anyway guys I'm gonna go uninstall this game I'm gonna play a game that's worth my money and worth my time uh, if you liked what you what you saw make sure to subscribe below comment look for a discord link wish I could kill that horse um, if you didn't like what you see and you wanna argue with me about this Go right ahead. I will argue all day long about how this company has ripped us all off. Anyway, guys, I'm going to take off. <laughs> take care.